But what if you could get cash back from not only buying the games you love, but also from playing them? That's exactly what the Tip Visa debit card is promising. And in this video, we'll explore the features and benefits it provides so that you can choose whether or not it's gonna earn a spot in your wallet. So tap that like button and let's get into it. The physical design of this card is honestly even nicer than I thought it would be. All these little lines that make up the design are slightly raised, giving it a nice tactile feel. And I know by this point you're asking, but Josh, how does it slap? 9.7 out of 10, easy. Coming in at just about 14 grams, this thing feels quality. I don't know about you, but I love metal cards. They not only feel premium, but they're guaranteed to get you that second date. Okay, your mileage may vary, but let's move on. So the metal cards are limited edition and will only be issued to the first 10,000 members. And this video is sponsored by Tiv, but all the opinions I share within this video are my own. And I just want you to know, I simply wouldn't take a sponsorship deal if it weren't a product that I truly believed would bring value to your life. So as a lifelong gamer, I love that this card gives elevated rewards for not only spending money at retailers like Xbox, Steam, Discord, and Twitch, but for actually playing games. And better yet, the Tiv debit card has no annual fee. The Tiv ecosystem is centered around their mobile app where you can earn points for completing quests. You can then take those points and redeem them for actual US dollars like these. For frame of reference, 100 TIV points equals $1. So it's really straightforward and simple to calculate how much your points are worth. A lot of the time, rewards points can be confusing, making it difficult to really nail down exactly how much cash back you have. But with TIV, simply multiply the number of points you have by 0.01, and that right there is the cash value of your points. Now, back to the fun part, the quests. The quests within the app will either be starter quests or they'll be monthly quests. Some quests will be broad, requiring you to simply play a certain number of hours of the game of your choosing, while other quests may require you to play a particular game. So when you first create your TIV account, you'll see a variety of quests that are waiting to be completed. If it's a monthly quest, you'll see a shield next to it, and this indicates that this particular quest can be impacted by the multipliers. So if you have a 100 point quest in your available quests, it'll be worth $1 in cash back if you're at the base 1x multiplier. But if you've unlocked the 5x multiplier, it'll jump all the way up to 500 points, which will be worth $5 in cash back. And the great thing about these quests is that Tiv is constantly releasing new quests to be completed. Every single month, you'll have access to a brand new set of gaming quests. And you may even see limited time quests pop up in your app from time to time. So you'll wanna check your Tiv app regularly so that you don't miss out on free money. And it may be a good idea to enable Tiv notifications so that you don't miss out but how do we unlock the different multiplier levels? You do this by making purchases with your TIV debit card. Every $250 you spend on your TIV card will bring you up to the next multiplier level. Well, what if you only spend $250 on your card for the month? In this case, all the quests that you completed for the month will be doubled. But if you spend $1,000 with your card by the end of the month, all of your monthly quests will be 5 x And the question I had was, what if I complete all the monthly quests in the beginning of the month, but I don't level up the multipliers until the end of the month? No worries, because the multipliers are gonna work retroactively on all the quests that you've completed for that month. One thing to be mindful of is that the quest multipliers you've unlocked throughout the month do reset back to the base 1x multiplier at the beginning of each new month. But the thing I find really nice about TIV is that even if you don't make any purchases with your TIV debit card in a particular month, you're still gonna walk away with a few extra bucks in your pocket by completing the monthly gaming quests. And in order to actually get credit for the gaming quests, you'll wanna link your Xbox and or Steam account so that TIV can track your progress. At this time, these are the only two platforms that can be used to complete the gaming quests, but TIV is always on the hunt for new partnerships. And since gaming data is collected overnight, you likely won't see your quest progression update until the following day. But even if you haven't unlocked the higher quest multiplier levels for the month, you'll get three points per dollar on purchases from Steam, Xbox, Twitch, and Discord. These purchases can include in-game credits, games, subscriptions, DLC, and more. You just have to make sure that you make your purchase through the brand's official store. So for example, if you go and purchase a game on Amazon and then add it to Steam, it won't count toward the three points per dollar category. And these three points per dollar will be capped at a thousand points per month, which equates to $10 in cash back. So this means you can effectively get 3% cash back on up to $333 in spend each month with these four gaming companies. But with that said, Tiv is continually trying to add more value to their debit card 
by offering limited time deals. For instance, during this past Amazon Prime Day, Tiv was offering two points per dollar on anything purchased on Amazon between July 12th and July 15th. And for a limited time, Tiv is also offering two points per dollar on food delivery through Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash. These two points per dollar are gonna be capped at 1,000 points, or $10 cash back, which means you can spend up to $500 on this food delivery category before you hit the limit. In my opinion, that's plenty enough in spend to cover pretty much anyone's food delivery habits, right? So in addition to the three points per dollar that you'll earn through Xbox, Steam, Twitch, and Discord, this spend also goes towards unlocking the next quest multiplier. This is essentially double dipping because you get your three points per dollar, but that spend also goes toward your quest multiplier increasing the points you'll get from your monthly quests. Tiv's goal is to provide at minimum $20 worth of quests each month, assuming you unlock the 5X multiplier. And that's exactly where Tiv is coming up with the earn 360 plus dollars a year on their website. You can earn $10 per month from spending in the gaming category, and you can earn at least $20 per month from the gaming quests. So that's $30 per month multiplied by 12 months in a year, comes out to $360 in rewards. And to figure out the true cashback value of the TIV debit card, let's say we optimize our spend. Each month we spend $333.33 on gaming and $666.67 on literally anything else. This will unlock the 5X multiplier every month and get us the maximum three point per dollar value from the gaming category spend. Over the course of the year, we've spent $12,000 and we've gotten $360 in cash back. This will effectively be at minimum 3% cash back for the entire year. And be mindful, this is the bare minimum, not including bonus quests or bonus spend categories that Tiv may add in the future. It's honestly a pretty good deal, especially for a free debit card. And on top of that, Tiv is also offering a handful of starter quests. Some examples of these starter quests include opening a Tiv debit account, making your first deposit, linking your Xbox and Steam accounts, spending at least $25 in the gaming category, and unlocking the different quest multipliers. All in all, on my end, I'm seeing at least a thousand points worth of starter quests. And when you're ready to redeem your points for the first time, you'll need a minimum point balance of 1,000, which is gonna equate to $10 in cash back. And then for any subsequent redemption, you'll only need a minimum point balance of 500. Now, since this is a debit card and not a credit card, there's not gonna be a credit check when you apply for a new account. While we typically associate cashback rewards with credit cards, this isn't the case with Tiv. It's a debit card, so it won't have any impact on your credit, and you'll only be able to spend what you actually have deposited in your Tiv account. But on the other hand, since it's not a credit card, it's not gonna help you build credit so make sure to keep that in mind if building credit is important to you. And to get started with Tiv, you'll have to download the Tiv app from the App Store, which you can find a link for down in the description below. At the time of recording this video, Tiv is only available on iPhone, but they do have an Android app that the development team is actively working on. As an Android user myself, I'm currently using my wife's iPhone to complete my quests, so fingers crossed that the Android app gets released relatively soon. If you are an Android user like me, Tiv does have a waitlist you can join, so you'll get notified once it's available. And Tiv also has a free Discord channel where you can chat with the TIV support team and other gamers. If you do decide to open a TIV account, they are gonna require you to provide your legal name and social security number, which the card issuer is actually required to do by law here in the United States. This requirement is in place in order to verify your identity. But rest assured, this data is safely handled by TIV and is not stored once they successfully verify your identity. And yes, this debit card is currently only available for individuals 18 years or older who live within the United States. And while we're on the topic of data and privacy, you can rest assured that Tiv will never sell your personal data. But you may be asking yourself, where can I physically use this card and where can I not only withdraw cash, but where can I deposit it? Since Tiv has no physical locations like traditional brick and mortar banks, they give their customers access to deposit and withdraw cash from any ATM in the AllPoint ATM network within the United States. The AllPoint ATM network is really extensive with over 55,000 locations nationwide. Now you can always withdraw your funds from an out of network ATM as well, but it's preferable to stay in network so that you avoid paying any additional fees. And this goes for most other debit cards as well. You generally wanna stick with their in network ATMs. And as far as depositing funds into your TIV account, my personal preferred method is ACH, which allows you to transfer funds to and from a linked bank account free of charge. Now, ACH deposits typically take two to three business days to complete, 
but if you submit your ACH deposit before 3 p.m. Eastern time, it should arrive the next business day. And cash deposits at all point ATMs will typically be available same day. You should know that TIV is working toward implementing additional funding options. Now there are withdrawal limits for your TIV account, which is really common for these type of accounts. For outgoing ACH transfers to a linked bank account at another bank, the limit is $1,000 per day and $10,000 per month. For ACH transfers that are initiated from a merchant or another bank using your TIV routing and account number, there is no withdrawal limit. And there's a $500 per day ATM withdrawal limit and a $2,500 per day debit card transaction limit. And since the TIV debit card is a Visa card, you'll be able to use it to make purchases wherever Visa is accepted, which is almost everywhere. And the TIV app has a really nice feature that allows you to lock and unlock your TIV card with the press of a button. This gives you peace of mind that your account is secure and your money is safe. Plus, the bank that's partnered with TIV is Blue Ridge Bank out of Virginia, and your funds are FDIC insured up to $250,000. And TIV was founded by Jed Strong and JP Pillett, who both have extensive history in the gaming space, so you can rest assured that they have a good idea of what it is that gamers want. I know this is an important factor for me because it's it's nice knowing that the founders are actually interested in gaming themselves rather than just trying to make money off of us. Another question I see is, well, what's the catch and how does TIV earn money? So there's no catch. When you use your debit card to make a purchase, the merchant has to pay what's called an interchange fee. In this case, it's a small percentage of the purchase amount that gets paid to TIV, Blue Ridge Bank, and Visa. TIV also makes money from their partnerships with companies like Xbox and Steam. Since TIV is creating quests that provide cardholders with points for playing on Xbox and Steam, the money from these platforms help TIV fund these quests. It's a win-win-win. Us as the cardholders get money for playing the games we love, TIV gets money for getting gamers to play on particular platforms, and the platforms get more gamers onto their platform. If you're already gaming, why not make some extra cash while doing so? And TIV may or may not be toying with the idea of a pro version of their debit card. Now, I'm not gonna speculate about what it may offer if they decide to go this route, but I wanna hear from you. What would you like to see from a card like this? Let me know down below. YouTube thinks you might enjoy this next video, so check it out. Thanks so much for being here, and consider subscribing for more videos. Peace.